Hi you guys. Happy Sunday. I hope you all had a great week this past week and um, I hope going into the new week you have just an amazing week that is not stressful or um, any kind of hecticness. I hope that that just does not happen for y'all. If you hear kids in the background, of course it's a Sunday, so they are in the living room playing around, doing whatever while I'm filming in here. So, um, apologize for the screamings and the noise and they got my brush and they have my this and blah, 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 blah. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, I do want to thank you all for coming to my channel, for the new viewers, for those who are returning. Welcome back. Thank you. And if you haven't joined my YouTube family, there's no time like the present to do so. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be reminded every time I open my mouth about budgeting, financing, travel, uh, meal planning, anything that comes to my mind that I want to share on YouTube, you will be reminded of that. Um, just an intro about me. My name is Erica and this is Mama on a Mission. My mission in life is to be drama-free, stress-free, debt-free, and living my best life. So hopefully um, we can all achieve those goals um, because life is too short to be stressed, mad, and baroque. So with that being said, I just want to go over what we're going to talk about today. This should not be a long video at all because I know you all have things to do probably on a Sunday, as do I. Um, I do want to start off by letting you know that we're going to go over some of my new envelope categories for 2023. Now, I've been doing cash envelope stuffing off and on for the past five years, never really stuck with it like this. So I am very um, intrigued and excited to see where this leads me and where I will be um, come December of 2023, where my finances will be, where my mindset on money will be, where my savings and goals will be. That's going to be um, exciting to see. Um, so we'll be talking about that. I'm also going to go over my new YouTube schedule since my work schedule has changed. And... Um, I think that's all we're going to be doing. And then I'll just go over briefly what I will be posting for Wednesday for the cash stuffing, which is what really interests everybody. So we will get into that momentarily as well. I do want to introduce some new people in my family. This is Michael and that is Whitney. <laughs> I got those from um, Trader Joe's. They were $3.99 and they look like this and it's supposed to end up looking like this. Um, it's a gloomy day so I've got like artificial light shining on it and I'm next to a window but here in Louisiana it is gloomy and raining. Um, so hopefully it won't affect them that much, but I would like to just keep them in the background so that as they grow, the money grows and we can just be watching them grow together. So I figured that would be cool. I also decided to wear a new bracelet like every week. So, um, once a week I'm gonna put on a new bracelet. This is what I chose for this week. Um, and you'll see it in Wednesday's video as well. And I think I'll just interchange them and just, you know, keep that keep that little excitement going. I think that's nice. I got it for Christmas and um, it's pretty. And I got my new Tumblr. I was going to get a Starbucks one, but they were like $30. So I went to Office Depot because I had to get some envelopes um, and some other things. And this was 16 bucks. It keeps it cold. So you'll hear me take a swig every now and again because I need to hydrate. But yeah, that's that. So Let's get down to what you all came here for, which is to show my new categories for 2023. As always, I do want to start off with an affirmation. We all need positivity and encouragement in our lives. Um, so I'm going to start by doing this. These are Erin Condren affirmation cards, and you can get them when you order. She gives them about Oh, maybe three or four in a pack when you order something and you can also just order them. They're usually thank you cards, but I use them as affirmation cards. So I'm going to pick one. And I think this is a good one for today. Okay. 
set goals and crush them. Yes. So whatever goals you have uh, financially, spiritually, emotionally, uh, whatever relationship wise, you set those goals and you tackle them and you take them down like it's nobody's business. Um, you do it. You have the determination. You are worthy. You are loved. Um, anyone telling you differently, of course, they're crazy. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into the categories here. So let's get started. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and had to reposition the camera because we're going to do the categories. So this is what I did for 2023. I've got a new wallet coming. I've got already the binders that I'm going to use, but I'm not going to show those yet. I'm going to show those on Wednesday's video because I haven't quite set them up yet. Um, and I've got my envelopes coming. Um, so I've got some things coming in the works that should be here by Tuesday. And then I will set my wallet up on camera as well as show you guys my high, medium and low priority binders. And we'll go from there. So, um, you know, just to, just to say anyone who's doing this, you don't have to have all of these envelopes. You have as many or as less envelopes as you need. It's your budget. It's your life. No one can tell you that you're doing it wrong. You can do the envelope system any kind of way you want. There's so many YouTubes, uh, YouTubers out there that do a lot of things differently. And it's nice to just watch them just to get an idea of how they do it so that you can kind of formulate a plan of what you want to do with your life. But ultimately, you are the decision maker. You are head of your ship. OK, so we've got three binders again, which I'm not going to show you all and a wallet that is coming. Currently, I'm using this wallet here. I'm sorry, I had to stop the video because my husband was being nosy. Anyway, so I do have three binders that I have not um, really set up yet. I've got a wallet that I am going to be using from all, no, not all things planned. It was another one. Budget with me on Etsy. I will link her below. But I do plan on getting that other wallet from all things planned because it's a croc wallet. And she said she'll have some pink ones in about two months. So I might get that one so I can interchange them. So that would be nice. Um, so this is the wallet that I'm using now. This one is from Mel Shop on Etsy. I will link it below. I know you guys have seen me stuff this before. Um, and she did include this bank slip that I do want to use. Um, and I've already got everything mapped out for Wednesday that I, when I'll be um, taking the money out. But I will be using this on occasion, especially if I'm like out and about or if I do a cruise because I love cruising or traveling or just going out, you know, that I don't need my big wallet. I will definitely still use that one. Um, so for my wallet, I will have my gas, my groceries, my fast food, my receipts, my mad money, which is my personal spending money, my uh, emergency money, because you just never know. I have busted my tire too many times to count last year and have had to like scramble to get the money to get these tires fixed. Like literally it happened to me in December. So, um, so yeah, I will at least be keeping two fifty on me, um, at all times, just in case, because I am doing a zero base budget. I only keep about maybe $50 or so in the bank as a buffer, but everything else is, is in cash, um, or in my ally savings. So that's what that is. All right. So the next up and, and like I said, with my wallet, with the categories, with the high priority, I know you're probably wondering why groceries is not in there. And I will tell you guys, we, I budget $250 every other week for groceries and then $350 for a grocery run every other week, depending on what we need for like dog food, um, household supplies. I don't break those up into other envelopes. That's just too much for my mind to handle. So I just, every other week, instead of doing 250, I do 350. That extra hundred goes towards like toilet paper, paper towels, dog food, diapers, things like that. Um, and I may up it to four, probably will up it to four because diapers is like 40 bucks by itself and dog food's like 40, 50 bucks. Um, but I do have a pet binder or a pet folder that I will be stuffing starting this week. So that will probably alleviate um, that as well. So I always keep my groceries in my wallet here because uh, we always end up using every single dime. 
And um, if I do my budget right, um, there's no money left because I've priced everything prior to going to the stores. I shop at three, well, four stores, um, Fresh Market and Whole Foods. I interchange those, Trader Joe's and Rouse's. I don't go to Walmart. I don't go to Target unless I'm getting like diapers or paper goods or soap because I just like my food to taste good. So, um, so in my high priority binder is going to be emergency my general savings, my hubby spending, my spending, and that's only if I don't like take it and spend it because I've been doing that. All of my kids will be in there, gas, uh, my moving to Florida because that is a big thing because we are moving to Florida, uh, hopefully come May of 2024, so we have to save for that. Uh, my husband's car because he does need a new car and pets, and then I did put food in here, but I'm not going to have that. My second uh, priority, which is medium priority, um, is going to be my car maintenance, my birthdays, medical, dental, vision, school fees, and activities. So a lot of times at my kids' elementary school, they have snack days, they have bring your own pajama days, they've got things where I've got to go buy like a board game or something like that, something particular for that, you know, special day. Um, so I like to have like ones and fives in there just so that they have what they need and anything else like that. Um, date night, clothing, and my dad. Um, my dad is a huge supporter of me since, you know, I backstory just real quick. Um, I do have six children. My oldest is 20. I got pregnant with him when I was 18 going on, no, 19 going on 20. Um, and since I mean, every single child that I've had, my dad has been there literally helping me raise them. And then when I, met my husband 12 years ago. He took over and became the best stepdad in the world. They don't even consider him stepdad, my two oldest, because um, their dad has not been around and my husband's kind of taken over. So my dad and my husband has been instrumental in their life. So I have a little envelope for him because he likes to get lotto tickets. He likes to go to the casino and things like that. So I just like to stuff it anytime he calls me, hey, do you have this? Do you have that? I'll be able to have it. Now, um, I missed one thing in the high priority that I did not, I took out food, but I added my daughter, um, two things, Cherie's college, because she will be going to college in, oh my God, August of 2024. I don't want to cry on camera, but it is a tough one. She's going to be going to Los Angeles. That is her goal. And she's got the grades to do it. And she's definitely got the ACT scores to get there. Um, and then her senior year. So those are also in my high priority binder. And I think I did put uh, clothing and car maintenance in high priority. So I'll let you guys know. I forgot what I, because I changed some things around after I was setting up my binders. So I'll let y'all know next week when we really go into it. Um, low priority is going to be vacation, home decor, family fun, uh, insurance deductible, because our insurance deductible is $1,000. So just in case something happens, I do want to have that on hand so that we're not scrambling or taking out of our emergency fund for that thousand dollars. Christmas um, medications and prescriptions. I'm moving to the mid priority because my husband does have um, high blood pressure. So he does have to get that mm, once every three months. So I'm going to put that up there. Gifts and giving uh, beauty, hair, Mother's Day and Father's Day. I am off this year for both holidays, so I will be making sure I take my dad and my husband out to do whatever they want to do. I want to have money for it. And for me, I normally like to like get my nails done and just kind of hang out with the kids, do lunch, things like that. Other envelopes I have is miscellaneous and rollover. And again, these might change depending on what binders I get. I may change the system mid-year, so we'll see. But that is the blueprint of my categories. Um, so over here is just what I've written down as far as how much they are getting weekly, if it's bi-weekly, if it's monthly. Um, my weekly stuffing is always going to be the high priority binder no matter what. Oops, I forgot one. Kobe, because he does, he will be going to ABA Center starting February. So I do want to make sure that I have 
that money just in case there's any co-pays they said insurance should cover it and i did apply for medicaid because even though we do make a good amount of money um, medicaid will go ahead and cover because he does have a disability which is autism i also forgot to add in here um, our bankruptcy fee because my husband and i are filing bankruptcy um, after him not working for a good little bit because he's an electrician and he got laid off in April and didn't go back until July. His grandmother passed away, my uncle passed away, so we had some expenses there and it kind of put us in a hole. We didn't have a lot of savings after that because we used him when he was out of work. Um, he's now back at work, uh, has been, and it's pretty, pretty stable, of course, thank God. Um, but it was a lot, so we decided to do Chapter 13 Bankruptcy, which is a debt consolidation. And um, I will be doing more on a video with that. I do have an appointment with the lawyer to finalize everything this Friday on the 13th. So, yeah. Um, so, let's see. We've got our weekly stuffing, which will be High Priority Binder bi-weekly which will be medium and high priority monthly which is high priority and low pri low priority high priority will get stuff every single week that's pretty much what i'm trying to say to my mind this work my mind knows what i'm trying to say so you don't have to worry about that stuff all right so this is the budget for this week i've kind of already done an excuse my uh handwriting i'm sorry you guys i had to scream at my kids for yelling so loud isn't that crazy that you got to scream at the kids because they're yelling? I may have to look into how I parent. <laughs> anyway, so I've got my income laid out. I've got, you know, everything down. I did get a extra little bit of money this week that will be coming in. So I just kind of have everything laid out. The purple is going to be my envelopes um, that I will stuff. And I don't know if I'm going to do all of those because I did realize I have to get my kids some shoes this week so I might be using my bonus on that so these envelopes might change um, so yeah that's pretty much where we're at with this and on track because this is where we've put everything in our Aaron Condren budget binder um, we are on track to having every single monthly bill paid for I do want to stress this. I do not stuff any envelope until my bills are paid. I do not like stuff and then try to pay bills. Um, I don't put away for bills. I just pay them and then whatever's left, then I figure out what I'm going to stuff. That's the way I like to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, so we are on track to making sure we are on budget. Um, so we will check out what our bank looks like at the end of the month. Uh, of course, I have January's quote here, and this is those who have money, or excuse me, those who love money will never have enough. That's from Ecclesiastes chapter five, verse 10. And I read that every time I open this. Um, definitely make sure that you all who are budgeting, you guys track your expenses. If you don't track where your money's going, then it, it could be going anywhere. And then everything you're doing will be in vain because you have no idea where your money went. So I highly recommend that you do that. Um, I'm going to list some people that I found very helpful this week. Um, Brianna Budget, she's very, very good. I'm going to link her below. Um, and I was binge watching her for a good little bit. She even inspired my 16 year old to start her binder and I'm ordering her stuff this week. So we will probably incorporate Cherie's little debut to face. I'm sorry to YouTube on here once she gets everything set up again. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the support. Um, you have no idea we're at 124 subscribers. I it's, it's crazy. I was just at 52 last week. I can't even imagine. I just, I'm, I'm floored. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. And, um, I definitely hope you all have a great Sunday. Bye.